And we're back. Hey, Chucky, how's it going? Great. I'm Chuck Testa. This is Dr. Adeth. We're back with another episode of Off-Centered Outdoors. Right. And we, we it's a allegedly... sunny, beautiful, sunny day in Ojai. Oh, man, it's going to be a, a shake and bake and I help day today. <laughs> they say it's going to be pretty warm. It's going to be a brisk 100 and something. Perfect. 111 teens. Well, I just got here and all the lights are on, so that means it's at least 62. That's it. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I kept the front lights off in a in a frugal attempt to, uh, or whatever you call it, mm -hmm. to keep the temperature down. Yeah. So, man, what a week, huh, dude? Yeah, now my week kind of was a blur, kind of a kind of a waste of a week work-wise, but it was a good week. Well, depends what you say, a waste of a week, because... With Nathan and the family and the fair, that's never a week away. Yeah, no, I mean, just, just work-wise, it was, there wasn't much, whole lot going on, so. No, but in your other thing, you did, you know, make tacos or something, <laughs> fish head tacos. Or, yeah, no, we cooked. Or that's what we said we'd feed them, fish yeah. heads. We cooked every night for the VIP concert tent, so that was fun. Uh, yeah. About, fed about 100 people every night, except for the last night when only a couple people showed up because nobody cared anymore. Yeah, but, but this this was a special one for you because uh, it's Nathan's like he's graduating into adulthood. Or yeah, something, the, right. This is possibly his last fair. He could do one more if he wants to, but we'll see what he does. Yeah, well, he is a, what I used to call a st stupid teenager. Absolutely. So you, you never know. and and you know what? It's okay because that's like the stupider you are. Uh huh. When you're a male teenager, the <laughs> the smarter you are later, yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense. But that's you, you know, got you got to live the life to learn the lessons, I guess. That's it. You know, no, it's true. <clears throat> I say that all the time. I I say, you know, the problem with kids today is they they can't buy dynamite at the hardware store anymore. <laughs> yeah, shit like that. You know, they uh -huh. can't they can't drop bowling balls out of the. Uh, a full pickup truck at 100 miles an hour and see yeah, what happens. Exactly. They can't have the cops chase them and not have a shootout now. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And the drag racing, I don't even give that out. I don't even know what happened with all these guys doing donuts and, st you know, all uh -huh. that crap. We just used to run a quarter mile, and that was the big... Oh, yeah. The now, big, now they got to drift and all that other horse shit. Yeah, I guess it evolves. But mm -hmm. Well, we drifted one time, me and Funer. We, we got to get them on to talk about that. We drifted one time with a trailer on the El Camino. Nice. In front of the L.A. airport. <laughs> somehow doing donuts. But, um, and uh, that's another reason on that episode, why are we still alive? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but that's the only time I can remember drifting, really. <laughs> but it wasn't on purpose, either. It was obviously. Yeah. Somehow alcohol and drugs were involved, you know. As most good stories do. Yeah. But uh, that's another time, and I'm not promoting that use at all. Uh -huh. I'm just saying, as far as stupid teenagers go, yeah. we were really good at it. You know? <laughs> well, really, somebody had really to good. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So my week uh, it was a little emotional. I don't do bears, but uh, we got started on Richard's bear, mm -hmm. and then it turned out the day that he came up was his birthday. Oh wow! Which was the first one. 41. Oh, yeah. I don't want to talk. I shouldn't talk about this on the air, probably. But it was a, a hard uh, day for him. Yeah, no doubt. But he had fun getting distracted by by uh, learning how hard it is to do a <laughs> life-size bear. There's more to it than meets the eye. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and then he deserted me because he had to pick up his kids, which was okay. And then I spent the next three days fighting something that's... Well, I said it was twice my size. He said, bullshit, it's twice his size. <laughs> so it's four times my size. So. At least. Anyway. Yeah. Well, hey, um, I want to talk about uh, our favorite topic during archery season, mm -hmm. which is velvet uh, euros. Yep. And uh, why? <laughs> why? Yeah. Now we're going to see if customers listen. Because I told this guy. I said, don't get all upset, man. Don't get all butthurt. I don't know if you're a snowflake or the hell you are, but uh, I'm going to use you as an example. Mm -hmm. But it's not at that bad. Well, how do I... Okay, so I get the call, and uh, he's already cooking his uh, 
European, right? <laughs> now, first, first, let me back up. Because I didn't find this out till later in the story. But he shot it two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was that opening weekend? Something like that. Yeah, okay. So close to opening weekend or on opening weekend. Then they lost it. It took three days to find it. No, oh, geez. But the, it was still like on there. Mm -hmm. So then he used Velvalock, okay, which was smart, yeah. right? But then he cooked it, which wasn't smart. And then, but, but he didn't know, you know, mm -hmm. and then... It's peeling, you know, it's loose on the burrs, right? Yeah. Which is because that's what we always talk about, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So I told him, well, we don't really cook them anymore, you know? That's yeah. not how we do it for anything, even hard horn. But uh, I said, I, I just don't know what the what the attraction is with these velvet and, this, and these Europeans. And, yeah. And, uh, and I may have mentioned uh, the word... Uh, the hell's the matter with you might have been thrown about <laughs> with you guys. You yeah. Know? And uh, the attraction to the velvet. Mm -hmm. I mean, I realize archery, it is what it is. Okay. Yeah. I, I get it. I get it. But the European thing is the new fad. Yeah. Right? No, it's, <clears throat> it's a wait, waste of time in my book, but whatever. I mean, guys, guys are going to do it. Guys like the Euros. Guys like velvet. Why well, it's kind of a natural progression. They're going to want to do a velvet euro, I suppose. Right, but to me, I still feel. And Richard and I were talking about this the other day. I, he says the only way he's really, after he did those one year, last year, mm -hmm. and he didn't cut the antlers off. Yeah. And he says after all he went through, he didn't cut the antlers off and pin them. Yeah. Because there's no or or, he says if it's his own buck. He's going to take good reference pictures, mm -hmm. have it sprayed, and then have us airbrush the, the tone back in. Yeah. Because there's no way. But I have a, a, you probably won't be able to see this, but I was trying to explain this to the guy who sent me pictures. If I can work this thing. Oh, the guy said the 29th for the two bowls. Hmm. Oh, here's the guy right here. That's you. Very uh, compelling stuff for the audio listeners. <laughs> yes, it is. Sorry. <laughs> and we probably can't see it on the... If you click on the picture, it'll make it bigger. Okay, so see the burrs? Mm-hmm. But look at this. Yeah, the big grease, greasy spot. Yeah, so that's what I was trying to explain to him. Mm-hmm. That uh, you have to degrease it. Yeah. And um, it may be, see, I can't see without looking at it. I don't know how loose it is. If it's loose here, mm -hmm. I'm wondering how far up yeah. it went because you don't want to touch it. Yeah, you well, know? Being, that it, being that it's loose, it may have just been loose. I mean, that could be too. Well, I don't know because he said it wasn't before he cooked it. But I might How does he know? He found it three days after he killed it. I, dude, I'm just reporting the news. If he found it three days after he killed it, there's bound to be some kind of. Well, no, there's. On. But look at some nice buck. Oh, yeah. Nice little, nice little buck. Why won't that work? And then here, this is just normal. He was telling me. Here, fix that. You got to use the meat of your finger, not the fingernail. Oh. Yeah, that's that's a rub spot. Yeah. So that's not. He was asking me about that. That's not, that's not, uh, yeah, no, shit, he's got en enough skull missing in this picture. You might as well just cut the skull cap off and hang it in the rafters. Okay, well, let's not be too hard on him. I told him we wouldn't beat him up too Well, bad. no, I'm not. I'm just, <laughs> no, I don't understand why guys blow all the uh, sinus cavity out of them. No, Anyways, that, that and, and uh, this is natural. The, for that to fall off, but look at the upper bones mm -hmm. come off. Yeah, you cook got to glue it all back hot. together. Yeah, that's. I told him. I said that's why that grease is still there. He, he, right. he boiled it instead of simmering it. And when you boil it, it cooks too fast and makes that bone brittle. That and uh, he put it in. Uh, oh, thanks for reminding me because I'd have left part out. The most important part um, is that magic peroxide boil oh. that they think works. Mm -hmm. You know, because then I told him about the that term I used to use, feel good thing. Yeah. I said, I guess it, you guys, 
You know, and how would they? They don't know. Mm-hmm. They only know. Yeah. Whatever yeah. the the whoever it is is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they only know what they get shown on YouTube. So. Right. Well, hey, be careful because we do shit on YouTube. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I know. They know. Everybody and his brother that has a camera can make a how to do a Euro video. And everybody is doing Euro mm-hmm. video. I mean, I I know you've got one. I've got one, and I got to, I got told that mine was the most inefficient way of doing a skull ever. So. Whatever. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you have arrived because that's, you know, yeah. Yeah, the one where you only touch it, like take it out of the bag and blow it off. Clean, yeah, basically. That one. Yeah. And put it right in a degreaser and doesn't even go in a pot. That that method. Yeah. Well, I, I still like to simmer it for about an hour just to make sure there's nothing in it. But yeah. Well, that's true, especially on the hogs because uh, they're impossible. Yeah. Nah, but the simmer, see, that's it. And you say simmer, and you really mean simmer. You don't mean, like, it's always a boil to me when I see them guys do it. Yeah. Like simmer is, is not a simmer. No, I mean, I use a big enough pot to where... It's not that hot. Right? Yeah, it, it's yeah. it's only going to get to a simmer. That's what I mean, yeah, yeah. And I told the guy the way Richard does it, you know. It yeah. Just, you just take them out of the warm water, and that... Uh, oh, I forgot this part. See? um, That the... the point out how he does it he has the time yeah see richard has the time because that's what he does and he does it to make him you know he does oh, it yeah, for exactly. him he does it for a, a it gets his mind off of all the poor shit that guy's gone through anyway um but we don't have that kind of time to babysit because if you're going to do skulls that's a whole thing and a whole process yeah and you gotta you got a timing it's all timing too. Oh, and, exactly. And uh, but uh, when he does that warm water shit, you could see the gre- it pulls mm-hmm. like I mean so much of the grease out. Yeah, but when you when you macerate it correctly, it, it works really good. You basically you're leaving it in there with a with a tank heater of some kind, and it it keeps that water at a constant temp, and it just leaches all that grease and fat right out. Right, and you change it a couple times if necessary, mm-hmm. but usually deer are only like a couple three days. Yeah. And then he goes right into the acetone, and he doesn't use that much because it's already that clean. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, that whole center there, I told him it's going to all, and even if it wasn't, it'll be yellow by next year anyway. Oh, yeah, absolutely. With that method, I, I just don't, because what you don't realize is you're still cooking it into the skull. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you, cook, when you cook it that fast, you're just, you're sealing the outside of it's all you're doing. And then with the velvet, I imagine still, we were, we, we got in this massive... We talk about the weirdest shit in the taxidermy shop, you know, <laughs> like thinking like even if, so you velvet lock, right, mm-hmm. you get all the blood, which still baffles me. I was telling the yeah. kid, how does it say the kid, he might be a hundred, I don't know, but <laughs> anyway, um, still baffles me how it, it works mm-hmm. because it, it, science says it shouldn't work, yeah. you know, and, uh, but what do I know anymore? We follow the science, don't get me started. Never mind. <laughs> we yeah. follow the science here, and uh, it's wrong mm-hmm. on some things. But anyway, um, shit, now I lost it again. Yeah. But it shouldn't work, but what about the, vel- you know, what about, okay, so it's not just in the burrs, right? It's still coming up. Yeah. I mean, it's not in the, it's still up here, you know? Mm-hmm. And that bald part right there yeah. still got blood in it. And uh, I just don't know. Yeah. I just... So anyway, I told the guy we'd, we'd discuss, uh, you know, Europeans. And I, I still think uh, either not killing one or... <laughs> I yeah. said, I said, if, yeah, go ahead. If, if you're going to do a velvet euro, be prepared to pay for it. Yeah. yeah. Because if you try to do it yourself, odds are... You're gonna have to send it off to be uh, resprayed with the fake stuff. I mean, I guys do it. I I don't know how they do it, and it still looks good with leaving the antlers on. But it's a. Uh, but if you do it right when you pin them, you can't even tell. No, for sure. That's that's, that's what I was gonna so say. Yeah, you just it just saves you all. But I said it's like I said it's gonna freak you out because I said man you you say you're gonna. Cut, and I don't mean like using a sawzall with a, uh, you know, mm-hmm. right, you know, the giant teeth blade that I'm always cutting myself with. Yeah. I mean, a fine, mm-hmm. take your time, 
get it right at the right spot. You yeah. Know? If it was an elk, we would drill it through the skull mm -hmm. from the bottom through the pedicle, and then we'd already have our index there. Yeah. You know, like when we do a, a pin, mm -hmm. which don't even talk about that, because that's another story I love to do. Yeah. Pinning antlers, you know. <laughs> you know, so anyway, yeah, so if you wonder why you call a guy, because I guess you can get them done for 150 bucks still on some insane... I don't know. I'm just going to come out and say it right here. Our time is is worth more than yeah. That. We're not we're not skull cleaners. We're taxidermists. That so and we got to make some money. Well, even if we even if we were a skull cleaner, you still got to make money. No, for sure. And and you still buy gas at the same. See this this every taxidermist will talk. If you go on Facebook and listen to them talk, mm -hmm. you know. And the one guy put that quote. Oh, it's that time of year again. When the guy pulls up in a $100,000 Raptor truck with mm -hmm. his 459 Zipzaddle offset with the thing and the scope and the the new clothes. And then he goes, uh, how much for a deer head? Yeah. You know? Well, sometimes I ask people where they live because I'm just curious. No, oh, yeah, for sure. Because obviously the food's free there mm -hmm. and electricity. and. Well, like I've know. said before, a lot of guys just assume that this is a side a side hustle. maybe maybe because that's it, really what a lot, it is. A lot of guys about it, is it. And, yeah but a lot, yeah i think guys don't realize that this is the full-time gig yeah i mean sure i've got a couple other things i do yeah but all of my gigs are full-time gigs that's right <laughs> you know yeah. Yeah. if you're gonna that's do right. something you gotta do oh it oh my right. god like it's like you have like three full-time jobs and Pretty then much, the kids yeah. you know and then uh the barbecue is a serious mm -hmm. thing. It's not a hobby. Yeah. And now I got sucked into that somehow, and uh, which actually was kind of satisfying. And uh, yeah, and I'm learning a lot, you know. And then, uh, but no, and I, I can see like you go to a guy like me. Now mm -hmm. I actually have a shop. Yeah. But it's still at my house. Yeah. And somehow I don't think they 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 don't comprehend, and maybe it's a natural thing. Well, you're at your house, so you don't have rent yeah, yeah exactly but i do have rent because it's my house somehow i gotta pay for yeah, that yeah exactly and if i didn't have my shop how i did or you didn't have your deal mm -hmm. we'd be screwed yeah because if i had to rent an actual storefront can you imagine oh yeah no it's it I, I, no you can't it, it's it gets pricey especially nowadays yeah I, i'm lucky enough to be yeah, you got well a deal. Taken care of where yeah, I'm at, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a. Well, I had a deal when I started too with that Cosmo Restis, so he was a good dude, mm -hmm. and he took care of me, you know. But yeah. then when they sold the property, I mm -hmm. was sweating seriously. Oh yeah, no doubt. I, I completely understand that. It's... And then uh, Popeye, you know, he's a god shot. You know, I don't know. I heard someone I used to respect. Now I haven't investigated this, mm -hmm. but. I guess he did like a, some video recanting his faith and uh, made me sad. Because hmm. I had too many accidents or neons, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I don't know. I, 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 that's the only hope we got. Oh, for sure. You know, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. But for me, then I'll, and then look, here I am. Had no place to go, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. And like, a, and God, you know, well, I have to say, Sorry, we're not talking about velvet antler. Oh, anymore, you're good. But um, God likes that eleventh hour rescue stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> How many times has our butt been in a sling? Mm -hmm. More times than I can count. You know, an and then and then we're like, oh my God, it's like we're out of time. And then at that, all of a sudden, and it's you hear it on that stupid late night commercial when the guy sends that spring water where you're going to get the check for a hundred thousand in yeah. the mail or whatever. But how many times has something happened or? You did get a check in the mail from that old, hey, I forgot my deer had 19 years ago. Here's the money I owe you or whatever yeah. it is, you know? Uh-huh. And uh, anyhow. Oh, so another thing last week, my buddy uh, Greg from, what's it called? Recreation or Recreation Yeah, but where's the name of the town? Oh, Nampa? Nampa. Nampa, Idaho. Yeah, I keep, like I said, I can't call it. I keep calling it Napomo. No, that's that's where I live. I know, but uh, <laughs> it's there and it's done, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, um, he stopped by. Haven't seen him in 34 years. Wow. He looks good for having his camp. And uh, 
we just, oh my God, you know, it's like, you know, when you have a friend, friend, it's like, doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. You know, and he couldn't believe, like, like, he, so you only know me from when you met me. Mm -hmm. But when I knew him and me, we were, I was just terrible. Tap. I mean, I'll just come out. I was, you know what I mean? It yeah. was, it was the beginning, you know, and we were struggling through and then we, some and, things never change. And yeah. <laughs> Well, now we struggle through, we get better results, but, uh -huh. you know, and, uh, or we, we do self-inflicted gunshot wounds and yeah. our famous don't do that, mm -hmm. but whatever. But anyhow, um, he's, he's just going, wow, wow. You know, I just blows his mind, you know? Yeah. Then we got a job offer. So, uh -oh. yeah. So I'm going to try and convince him that the best way to do it is for us to go up there, maybe spend the night, but just bring a load back. Yeah. I mean, rather than be there, I think we'd be more productive. Probably. You know, and could get, we could just take a giant ass pile, mm -hmm. you know, but, uh, no, he's, uh, it's amazing. He didn't quit either. He goes, you know, we would have, you know, we went through that and most guys would have been smart enough to just quit, but not us, you know, and, uh, <laughs> I don't know, but it was good to see him. Yeah, no doubt. I and wish he, I could have been here. Yeah, I, I did too. But it was on a Wednesday, you know. Just yeah. you were at the fair, mm -hmm. and I, and he was, and 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 it was one of them deals too, where he goes, if I don't come, like right now, yeah, I wouldn't have seen him at all. So yeah, he made, for sure. He took the time to make the time, you know. No, that's awesome. It was awesome, and then uh, he's a combat guy like us, and I mean, like he is an example of not having a life or any, you know what mm -hmm. I mean. You know, yeah, he, and he's a single dad with two, two twin boys, and then a, a, um, a you know, a not twin boy, a single, yeah. whatever you call it, <laughs> an extra, an extra, and uh, um, so he's got to raise those boys. I guess they're they're graduated high school or something, but uh, yeah, then he has one daughter that I I think i met but she lives in new york and now he has a granddaughter oh wow but uh life is hard man hell yeah it is you no know, it's hard it's and and, it, and uh it's just good to see him that's all and uh yeah i look back on that on the i'm glad that you're here i wish well hell 33 you'd have been six but that <laughs> wasn't gonna work but no uh, i wasn't very a good worker at six and, and i keep saying this and we said out tony finazzo's birthday the other day mm -hmm. I, I wish and hopefully that's what i keep when i tell you i want you to associate maybe you can get and make some new good old days yeah yeah exactly you know mm -hmm. make some new good old days for these yeah these people coming up. Well, I mean, you didn't you didn't know back then you were living the good old days. Well, that's what they say. Like we talked yeah. about at the comedy, you know, like the days when you'd be at the club and Jay Leno or Robin Williams would walk in and try their uh, yeah thing. I mean, those were we. Who knew? Mm -hmm. No, know? exactly. Who knew? You know, who knew Ron Jeremy was going to get dementia? Pervert would say. <laughs> I don't know. That was a bad hey, joke. You just never know. It, no, but no, you know, but. But, uh, cause God, I look back, you know, and, oh, oh, another thing real quick. You're good. Um, just full of stories this week. Some days I can't even remember what happened, like <laughs> the other week with the TikTok thing and all that uh -huh. crap. And this week, so, um, Blake, another, oh yeah, another kid that I've done his stuff like Richard, right? So he calls me, um. So if one of these young guys calls me, I figure there's a problem. Yeah. Because they never, first of all, they never answer their phone, you know, like <laughs> I got to, you know. Yeah. So you got to fucking text. And uh -huh. uh, I, I don't mind texting, but if it's longer than like a whole sentence, I'm going to call you. Yeah. Because it's going to take too long for me to explain. Mm -hmm. it, and I'll just get too frustrated. But anyway, he had to broke, you know, I told him we had some African coming in mm -hmm. and uh some issue with the broker thing you know and he was going to get a jackpot like the colonel got yeah and uh so uh, i put him in touch with fred and fred took care of him good and then i was telling and so it somehow it come up that he didn't know that i was as old as i was 
And then I said, well, what will blow your mind is Fred's 10 years older. <laughs> and he's like, what? And I go, yeah. And I go, you know, I, I don't know. Outside of uh, like Matt coming up, I said, I think all of, all the, you know, everybody else is like old, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, and he says, you know, it's funny. I told Fred that, that I known you since I was 15. And he told me he knew you since he was 50, you were 15. <laughs> that was a funny, well, yeah, it was funny to me. You yeah, know, well, yeah, no, it is. You know, everything's, everything's 40 kind of years. Yeah. Cyclical. You know, 40, 50. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, and the things I've seen in half a century. Oh, that's what we were talking about. He goes, you remember we didn't even have a beep. Like, you know, and, and yet, and yet we communicated somehow. Yeah. And met at each other's shop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And all this stuff. Right. Yeah. And, and uh, and now look, you just send like we're taking stupid pictures and sending them instantly and all this crap, mm -hmm. you know. So anyway, <coughs> so that was my story about the old. No, so I like now, it. now you can talk. I don't really have a whole lot to say. My week was just nothing but fair stuff. So I mean, yeah, cook, watch animals, cook, watch animals, cook, watch animals, break down, go home. Yeah, yeah. again. No, it was a good time. Nathan had a Nathan had a good what could be his last year. So yeah. Yeah. Like we, a bunch of us went together and ended up paying $66 a pound for his goat. Which then how come I have to pay 72 You paid a dollar a pound. And you paid... The rest of us paid $65 a pound. Oh! Yeah. Good for me. I heard that wrong. <laughs> yeah. I said no. 62 cents, cents a pound. No, nope, no. Nope. You paid a dollar. I paid... Well, I paid... You paid you know, a million. I, I no, I know, dude. Dude, you're the dad. I get. You yeah. Know. No, there's. A, mm -hmm. You're the dad, right? Yeah. No, there was. I think there ended up being six or seven of us all together going in on it and made him made him a good last year. That's kind of kind of one of the traditions we try to keep up. Make sure you go out with a bang. <clears throat> no, it's a good tradition. That, that yeah. whole farmer thing. I'm pretty impressed. You know, I'm I wasn't an ag mm -hmm. guy at all. Yeah. I was a recovering beach bum yeah, whatever know, works and uh and street racer but uh <laughs> you know oh there's plenty of those in there too don't worry i bet there is in their spare time mm -hmm. when they're not goat roping or whatever <laughs> you guys do yeah you know but no it was a, it was a good week you know we back to back to real life doing doing work and trying to squeeze in a little time hunting here and there oh yeah so the drive-in our podcast death total mm-hmm so now I got the one confirmed. I just showed you. Yeah. And you heard another. Yep, there's been a couple. And then the, we got a call Friday when Richard was here mm -hmm. on uh, some velvet butt that is all screwed up. And then when he told him the cost, that was the end of that. <laughs> so that's three three deer. Yeah, this is. it's And it's two a, pigs. It's a weird year. We I don't yeah. know what's going on. Uh, usually you go out and see a, at least a handful. And I went out for a bit last night walked a bit and i ended up seeing two does and a fawn and usually you see a little bit more than that but it's uh it's been tough all the way around from what i'm hearing so hmm. it's not just me <laughs> which yeah. is good for a change good <clears throat> but yeah so <laughs> pardon me <laughs> yeah <laughs> I only looked because I thought it was DMV mm -hmm. from our engineering department, but yeah. he, I think he might have got stuck working today. That's all good. But we're, we're still trying to figure out the whole phone call thing on this deal anyway. That's so. what I told him. I said, well, well, you're an engineer, engineer. Yeah. You know, no, and then you did, but didn't you say that one was like a bona fide heavyweight? Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out what I can do to make sure that one comes in and doesn't end up sitting in a freezer for a while or in somebody else's freezer. Or, or so. the head sawed off a, yeah. or a no, magnum cape, you know. Well, yeah. No, if it comes in, I'm going to have a hard time not just mounting it because it's, it's a stud. Sometimes we do what we do. I know. We don't always do it for money. Mm-hmm. Had this conversation. It's hard to start the year off that way, though. <laughs> yeah, I want to look, look who you're talking uh -huh. to. Here. So, Richard, by the way... uh one guy he said uh he's finally getting on it he's been waiting like nine years or eight years on that list for that mouflon place oh yeah that has the only like pure like there's only like three places in the world i think that are oh wow pure right mm -hmm. 
And uh, so he's talking about, you know, a sh shoulder, and I, I look at him, and he goes, all right, I'll skin it life-size. <laughs> I said, yes, you will. Yep. You will skin it life-size, and we will discuss it later. Mm-hmm. Because don't be a moron. Yeah. Know? You know? Yeah, don't you be know, like... You can always cut some off. Don't be like <laughs> some sheep guys, you know? Yeah. And mouflons ain't very big anyway, so you That's can what I said. fold it up and put it in your pocket and bring it home. No, I, I said if I had to, I could have it on one one rock. Yeah. Literally. And it'll only take. Mm -hmm. I said, I think it's a mistake. Yeah. You know, but no, uh, you're gonna I ain't paying. That much. Well, I could say I ain't paying for it, but maybe. Yeah. No, I'm not pointing at him. Mm -hmm. I'm pointing to something you can't see, but maybe I will. You just never know. You know? Because we do our charity in different ways here. Nope, absolutely. A lot of ways to give and help mm -hmm. and give back. Some, sometimes it's for minorly selfish reasons, but hey, everybody's got their flaws, I suppose. <laughs> or even majorly selfish reasons. Yeah, whatever, whatever the case You know, and be. it's hard to believe that we actually like our job sometimes. Mm -hmm. and sometimes it's because we want to mount something because we want to mount, you know. Yeah. Because, you know, when you, when you do deer, well, you love deer. Mm-hmm. But when we do everything 300 times this year. Yeah. And uh, so when you look, kind of look forward to the uh, Kazakhstan goat or the. Yeah. No, absolutely. The hell, or an axis deer or. Yeah, something, 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 anything, something different to break up the, break the, up the same every day. But yeah. that's it. You know, it's probably like a bird guy doing mm -hmm. ducks, man. God bless you guys. Well, yeah. We may be looking for another new bird guy. We don't know. Maybe. You just never know. Or but maybe we won't do birds anymore. That sounds like a pretty good plan to me, too. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. look at the headache now that we don't have with Richard doing stuff for... Yeah. Because we do, like, we focus on big game. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. And unless you have helpers, which is a whole nother <laughs> jackpot that you don't... You know what I mean. Yeah. Like, like do what you love to do, mm -hmm. you know? No, for and, sure. And uh, And then... Because, you know, it just doesn't sound like it screws it up as much as it does, but it kind of does. Oh, absolutely. I mean, even when we do life, big life size, mm -hmm. right? Screws up our whole 25 heads a month thing or 50, well, yeah. 50 between us. Mm -hmm. 50 heads and, you know, and then you got to do a life size. So you got to sneak that in on the week before the finish work. Or yeah. In our case, we just... Or, we just waited and decided to do it mm -hmm. in this window that we had before gun season. Yeah. That's when we sweep out the corners, I call it. Mm -hmm. We do all the all the annoying repairs or whatever it is. And uh, if guys don't want to wait, they can have them fixed somewhere else. Yeah. Please. Maybe we'll even pay it or <laughs> somewhere else. Don't say that. No? Okay. Uh, but yeah, and we're, we're only like... Two weeks away from our seminar we got to do which is going to be interesting yeah well don't forget we we train champions sure sounds good but yeah we had uh we had one more for sure sign up so oh, that's did good. We? yeah you that kid that came up and visited you a few few weeks ago him and his dad or whatever it was i can't remember his name now. oh the kid that uh he was doing i blue. gave him a hat or something Sure, I don't know. He's doing squirrels or rats or some shit, and he said he okay. wanted to learn how to do big. I can't remember what his name was. Sorry, it was me neither. <laughs> don't be mad at me, kid. Billy I or said, Will no? Or I think he had or... a jeep cap like mine. I couldn't find it, you know. <laughs> then I found it. Yeah. No, I had mine on. And he found his. Oh, there you go. And we took a picture, I think, because he nice. had an actual one like mine, oh, which is really a lot of guys don't have that. Yeah. You know. No, that's so, cool. But yeah, we got we got a few sign ups, and we're gonna keep the sign ups open till the day of. I might as well try to fill this thing up as much as we can. So, yeah, you know you, what? If you guys are wanting to learn how to do a deer, even not even necessarily just for commercial stuff. If you just want to learn how to do one, mm -hmm. sign up for the association. You get this seminar for free. Yeah, and I'm glad that that. Uh oh. I know we better wrap this up. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I'm glad that, that that kid who's coming, that's what the whole purpose exactly. is. I'd rather have five guys like that than guys that, that already know stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we got to wrap this yeah. up. I think we're going to get... Uh, Time to get to work. I think we're going to get Jeff here or something. <laughs> All right, All right well, uh, what a great episode. Yep. Check man. us out on social media at Butcher Shop Taxidermy and at 
ohi underscore valley underscore taxidermy and be sure to watch these uh on youtube podcasts on, on youtube, YouTube. Yep. Uh, Spotify, gotta, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, anywhere you listen to podcasts. Yeah, I got to like, share, and subscribe, please. And I got to text this guy where to find it because uh, we may have an extra listener. Nice. We're All up, right, we're up to a hundred and like five plays overall, so that's a, a milestone so far. Okay, I'm gonna say something that's, that could kill us. I said maybe I'll get a hundred views on that video. Mm-hmm. You just never know. And then, because it was like 50, mm -hmm. then it was 100, mm -hmm. then it was 500, then it was bananas. Yeah. So maybe we'll have history repeat. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, know. we're going to get one more viewer, I know, from this guy <laughs> and maybe his buddies. So. Perfect. All right. All right, guys. See have you a next good one. week.